Heading into his North Korea summit with characteristic bravado, President Donald Trump says he's ready to negotiate an accord with Kim Jong-un to denuclearize the Korean peninsula. I've been preparing for this all my life. Trump's comments come as he looks to reassure allies that he won't give away the store in pursuit of a legacy-defining deal with Kim, who has long sought to cast off his pariah status on the international stage. To even come to this level, uh, President Trump's unique style has contributed. Uh, he sanctions maximum pressure and even bloody nose talk in part contributed to probably Kim Jong-un deciding to have this meeting. North Korea has faced crippling diplomatic and economic sanctions as it has advanced development of its nuclear and ballistic missile programs. Trump, who coined the term maximum pressure to describe U.S. sanctions against the North, says if they continue, it would be a clear indicator for the success or failure of the summit. But that talk gives pause to Jim Carafano, a foreign policy expert at the Right-Leaning Heritage Foundation. So making compromises on that strategy at the front end, I think, would be disastrous because regardless of what the North Koreans did or didn't do, we'd be putting our own interests at risk and we, and we shouldn't do that. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says the president's new approach to diplomacy is paying off. Uh, in the past, there had been months and months of detailed negotiations, uh, and they got nowhere. Th this has already driven us to a place we've not been able to achieve before. Past administrations have also used a combination of sanctions and diplomacy to seek North Korea's denuclearization, but the results failed to endure. U.S. allies in the region are expressing concern that Trump's push to denuclearize Korea could ignore the North's ballistic missile and chemical weapons programs. So all sides will be looking to the Kim regime to provide evidence of weapons dismantling. I think America and its allies, certainly the Japanese, and I believe the South Korean government, are going to demand real deliverables. And, um, it, you know, we know that that North Korea has played this kind of rope a cycle in the past. They would call it a success no matter what happens at the meeting. Some sort of a peace declaration, normalization of relations, or even a peace treaty. So some sort of a joint statement that comes out of the meeting and both of them will say, well, this is huge, this is successful, this is historic. The unpredictable nature of both leaders got them around the summit table in Singapore and they'll both be on the spot to deliver. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.